Hallelujah. I'm talking to you about push through people or things to reach Jesus. Push through people or things to reach Jesus. Let's open our Bible into Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to verse 52. Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to verse 52. I'm trying not to be preaching long anymore, so I'll read through the verse real quick, and then I will talk to you about this subject. Amen? And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort. Rise, he is calling you. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered him, what, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said unto Jesus, Lord, that is my sight. And the last verse, and Jesus said unto him, Go your way, your faith has made you whole. And immediately he received his and followed Jesus in the way. Amen. That's Mark chapter 10 from verse 46 to verse 52. The title of this message is Push Through People and Things to Read Jesus. Blind Bartimaeus, he was blind. That's why they call him Blind Bartimaeus, right? He was blind. He had a miserable lifestyle. A blind person does not see what is around him. A blind person cannot have a job to feed himself and provide to his own needs. The case of this man is very deplorable. And he sat on the road every day to bad people that are passing by to survive. Every single day, somebody had to guide him to where he's going. Every single day, he had to depend on people to bring him something to eat. He had to be on the street with his eye blind and begging. And he doesn't know if somebody is coming to hit him. And somebody is coming to knock him out of the way. Or the little money other people give him, he's not sure if somebody can come and Rob him of that little money. He had a miserable lifestyle. But you will imagine that this man is blind. He's a beggar. And his situation is very miserable. And you will imagine that when he is attempting to read Jesus. That people will encourage him to read Jesus. So he can find a permanent solution to his problem. You will imagine that people will encourage him. But in the verses we write together, we realize that people were not favorable to his attempt to reach Jesus Christ. My Lord, have mercy. Oh, are you listening to me right now? And all your trust is in people. You depend on people to help you. And, and when you are looking for a solution for your problem... All your trust is put on people. Look at the case of the blind Bartimaeus. The blind Bartimaeus in the passage we read together. This man was trying to read Jesus. He cannot see. He never seen Jesus before. The Bible says that he heard that Jesus was passing by. And he started 
screaming that Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Can you imagine with his eye blind and he cannot see, but he heard of Jesus. He heard that Jesus, the son of God, does miracles. And he heard that Jesus is passing by that place, the highway that he sat all the time to beg money. And the blind Bartimaeus said, hey, this is an opportunity that i got to grab. This is an opportunity that I cannot let afford to pass me by. And he started screaming, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. But unfortunately, the people told him to shut up. My goodness. Unfortunately, the people told him to shut up. And I'll be wondering why would anybody hinder a blind man to read Jesus that can solve his problem? If I were in their shoes, I would say, Blind Batino, Jesus can heal you so he can stop begging us for money. If I were in the place, I would say, Blind Batino, I want to take you to Jesus so Jesus can fix your problem. So we don't have to be guiding you and move you out of the way of the vehicles. So, so we don't have to be carrying you around and take you to the bathroom and show you where to go, get something to eat, and where you, you lie down and sleep. I, I would have called the blind man to get to Jesus so Jesus can change his life. So the burden of that blind man can be taken off my life. That's what I would imagine of doing if I were in the shoes of these people. But sadly enough, this man told the blind Bartimaeus when he was crying out to shut up. They were telling him to stop screaming and calling the name of Jesus. People, I want to tell you that people are evil. People are evil. They don't feel your pain. They are, they are not accustomed to the misery you face every day. And when you are trying to reach Jesus, uh, people will discourage you from doing so. You have to learn to push through people to care to Jesus. Remember the title of this message is uh, Push Through People at Things to Reach Jesus. Have you made a schedule of praying hard? Have you made a schedule to go to a retreat, uh, to go to a fasting program, a praying program, to reach God for your problem? But people are discouraging you for doing so. People say you don't have to do all that, but your problem remains with you. Maybe they don't feel your problem because your problem is not their problem. Maybe you are sick in your body or you are, fa you are facing a family problem, but those people telling you not to go the extra mile, they don't have your problems. And they are discouraging you of going hard to reach Jesus. Uh, people are evil uh, and they will stop you from reaching Jesus. Uh, my friend, what are the ways you are trying to reach God? Uh, is it through reading the word of God? Uh, is it through finding your solution in the word of God? Uh, is it through praying? Uh, is it through going to see a man of God uh, so your problem can be solved? People will stop you from reaching to Jesus. So you have to learn to push through, pe through people. You have to learn to push through them. Knock them out of the way in order to reach Jesus. These people told the blind Bartimaeus in the passage, in verse 48, he said, And many charged him that he should hold his peace. Many told him to shut up. Many told him to do that, to shut up. When he was crying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. So what is your problem? Let me tell you, only you know what you are going through. And you know that only Jesus can solve your problem. Because people can't solve it. They are even on the way. They are hindering you from getting the solution. And we know that Jesus is the way. When you are attempting to reach God, 
They say, no, they're going to be a better life than what I'm living. They're going to be a solution in God than what I have right now. When you are attempting to reach God, people will hinder you. My friend, you have to make up your mind to push through people, knock people out of your way in your attempt to reach Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Not only you have to push through people, but you have to push also, also through things. In verse 50, the Bible say, when Jesus said, call the man. In verse 50, the Bible say, and he, the blind man, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. My Lord, sometimes when you want to reach God for solution to come to your problem, things can be on the way. The garment is a that you put on in winter against the cold. That garment is heavy. This blind man said, Jesus is calling me. I don't need any heavy thing to hold me from reaching Jesus. So he cast the garment away. He threw the heavy burden away. And it arose and went to Jesus. My friend, what I'm trying to tell you is you have to push through things and you have to push through people in their attempt to reach to Jesus. Because Jesus is a solution. If you can just get to him, Jesus will find a solution to your problems. Uh, just like the case of the blind Bartimaeus. Uh, when he pushed through people, people told him to shut up. Uh, the Bible said he cried aloud. Uh, the louder he was crying. Let's say he was crying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. People say, shut up. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He cried the more. The more people told him to shut up. Uh, the more he was crying. Uh, and finally, when Jesus said, come, uh, he threw away his garment. He threw away that heavy burden. He threw away anything that can hinder him from reaching to Jesus. Because you know that when he can reach to Jesus, he can find solution to his problem. My friend, what problem do you have in your life? Uh, don't, don't, don't be confused. Uh, don't, 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 don't be confused. Everybody have a problem. Uh, if you don't have money problem, you have family problems. Uh, if you don't have family problem, you have spiritual problems. Uh, if you don't have spiritual problem, you have social problems. Uh, every one of us need Jesus in our life. Uh, to intervene in one domain or another. Uh, my friend, you need to read to Jesus. Uh, and when you are pl planning to read to Jesus, uh, knock people out of your will. Uh, knock angel out of your will. Uh, knock sin out of your will. Uh, knock anything that can hinder you from reaching to Jesus. Because if you push people out of the way, and, you, and when Jesus call you to come, the same people... That says, shut up. They will say, be of good cheer. He's calling you. That's hypocrite. They say, shut up. When he didn't shut up, Jesus called him. They say, oh, be of good cheer. He's calling you. You have to push through, pe through, through people to get to Jesus. Don't wait on anybody to encourage you while you are going through your problem. Because people will not even encourage you. They will even want to stop you. From reaching to Jesus. So you can depend on them every day. So you can go to them for your needs of every day. So they can knock you and mock you all the time. Huh? Don't make people your God. Huh? But push through people to reach to Jesus. Huh? Meaning you don't depend on people. Huh? Seek God until you find him. Huh? Push through people and push through object. Huh? To get to Jesus. So you can find a permanent solution. What I like about the blind man is when he, he got to Jesus, he didn't say, Jesus, give me some money. Because he know that if Jesus gives him some money, he will come back and be begging. He said, Jesus, let me see. Because if he can see, he can go get a job. If he can see, he doesn't need people to help him around. He can walk around and see. He want to come out of his darkness. He want to come out of his misery. My friend, Jesus have the solution. Uh, get to Jesus by all means. Uh, push through people and push through objects uh, so you can get to Jesus. Uh, 
and enjoy the everlasting life and enjoy the abundant life that Jesus can give you and I. Push through people and push through things. I pray that this message changes your life so you don't depend on people, so you don't get attached to objects, but you can push them all out of the way so you can reach to Jesus. Because when you reach to Jesus, in verse 52, the last word the Bible say, his feet made him whole, he was healed. The fact of pushing people out of the way, the fact of pushing, push, pushing out there out of the way, got him to Jesus. And Jesus said, his fact of doing that got him healed. And he was healed immediately. My friend, people cannot find the solution to your problem. But Jesus can. Push through people. And push through system. Push through traditions. Only know, you know why you are going through. If other people, they pray two, three minutes. And they get solution. You pray three minutes, you're not getting the solution. You better increase the time of prayer. Eight people are living holy halfway and they got a solution to their problem. You two, you're living halfway, you're not getting the solution. You better push through the whole way. Push through people and push through things. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for anybody hearing me right now. I pray that your power in this sermon can change the life, can change the mind, so they can push through people. Give them the energy to push through people. Give them the force to push through objects so they can get to you. And Lord, when they get to you, let your faithfulness, let your power touch their life so they can get permanent solution. And know that you are worthy of being rich. That you are worthy of the effort of pushing through people who can help them anyway. So they can get to you. Lord, let this message be a blessing to millions of people. By your power in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We worship you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. Listen to this message again and again. Share it with your friends. Share it on social media and be blessed by it. And come back and see some more sermons of us that will be a life-changing experience for you. God may God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.